In this first experiment, pKa is being determined. The analysis unit is given a final wash and lowered into the sample tube. A known volume of water is added, usually 1 to 2 centimeters cubed. The pH of the liquid in the sample tube is measured and recorded and potassium hydroxide solution of known concentration is added slowly. Data can be displayed in various formats. The one you are likely to use in the lab is a graph of pH against volume of alkali added. From these data, the special software calculates an accurate value for pKa.